Good day, good day, gang, your old pal, Uncle Gasly. So you may have noticed I've been giving my YouTube channel a little bit more love lately. I've been doing more stuff. Uh, it's because I, I work as a performing artist, and because of COVID, uh, I basically had to um, satisfy my own creative urges on my own, do stuff I can do on my own. I can't do theater anymore. Um, I've done some voice acting, which is fun. I love voice acting, but I really, really love live theater. So I've been giving my YouTube channel a little love, and I've been putting these silly, silly little videos of Pukumhura, the the mistress of B-roll. Uh, I've been playing on a role play server with this this tune, and just having fun, having a lot of fun improvising awkward, cringy conversations with NPCs where it's very one-sided conversation where you get the impression that this this npc just wants pukum heard please go away you're weird you're weird and annoying me so i've been making the title cards using this software called daz um and it's been going pretty good but i've had one i've been had a, having one video called you woke me up and the thumbnail for that video is constantly getting deleted by YouTube. I appeal. They look at the, 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 the thumbnail with a human being and they go, yeah, I don't, I don't know why, why this is getting flagged. It, there's clearly no nudity in it. I mean, she's wearing like a, a kind of, a kind of flirty little outfit. You know, it's, it's, it's a little, you know, it's a little sexy. It's, it's a little sexy and fun and flirty because she's a, she's a sexy, fun and flirty gnome. And, uh, yeah, so this is, this is her little, little outfit and, uh, um, which I made myself, um, in, uh, uh, a program called Marvelous Designer. Um, I love, uh, doing 3D modeling of clothing. Um, when I was a little kid, wanted to be a fashion designer. Um, uh, but, uh, never learned how to sew. So I figured I can't, I can't, you can't be a fashion designer if you don't know how to sew. And thanks to Marvelous Designer, I can design any clothes as wild as I want. And I love doing it. So I, I, I design clothes and I put them up on, uh, Renderosity and, and share CG so that other people can download them and use my clothes in, in, for, for their figures. Uh, and I even made some figures of my own, uh, one called Lolo High. Um, which, um, is an anime, uh, inspired figure. And, uh, I make a lot of clothing for that. I haven't, haven't for the last few years. So Daz is what I make my, my thumbnails in. And the one thumbnail for you woke me up, uh, constantly gets deleted and reviewed and, and reinstated. And then as soon as it's reinstated, YouTube deletes it again and sends me a warning that, that I, that I've messed up and I appeal and it's like, yeah, you didn't. It's, it's obviously there's no nudity in it. And now it's gotten to the point YouTube won't even look at my appeals, right? It's like, nope, nope, there's nudity. We're not doing it, even though she's clearly not naked. She's, she's, she's not a naked gnome in this. It's a cheeky outfit, but not naked. Why do they keep deleting this, 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 um, thumbnail, um, that for, for the, you know, you woke me up video. And it's because I've suspected, I, I looked at this thumbnail and it was deleted for nudity. And I'm like, there's no nudity. She's fully closed. You can easily tell she's fully clothed. Um, and I actually have some thumbnails where Pukumhura is naked and coyly covering up all the naughty bits with her hands, right? And those thumbnails are fine because there's nothing exposed. And even if, even if I removed all the closing, Pukumhura, the, 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 the wow model, I've done nothing to modify the model. I just, uh, imported it as an object file into, uh, Daz Studio rigged it for Daz Studios rigging and and then made started making clothes for her. Um even if um she she was completely naked, she just looked like a Barbie doll. There's no anatomy there. So why does YouTube keep deleting this thumbnail? And it's I figure it's gotta be an artificial intelligence that's doing it. The artificial the AI 
goes through the thumbnail and it looks for naughty bits. And if it finds them, it automatically deletes it, the, the, the thumbnail from your, your video. Okay. I guess, I, I guess that's the, the AI, but a human will review it and, and say, Oh yeah, no, the AI is just being silly. There's nothing naked here. So I, I looked through the thumbnail, the original thumbnail. I've changed the thumbnail since because I've, I've gotten tired of this game. Going, if I was a stupid AI and I, I, I was looking at Pukamhura here for, uh, for nudity, um, what would be nude? And I found the nudity. You ready for it? This is what it was. In certain configurations, the gnome's hands, because of the proportions of their hands, they have um, short, sort of stocky figures with big, big, uh, big nails on them. And when um, the uh, hand is in a certain position, let's see if I can do it in a way where you sort of get what I'm going at without, I don't want, I don't want the AI deleting this video either, but maybe now you're starting to see where I'm getting at, right? Starting to see, Hey, I'm starting to see what it is. I'm starting to see what it is. That's the nudity now, right? Can I, can I do it? Can I do it? You're probably, some of you out there are starting to see, okay, okay, I see, I see where this AI is uh, getting a little confused, right? You see what I mean, right? This is, when you pose, pose these things, okay, this is, this is why um, the, the AI is, uh, flagging nudity because it was her one hand kind of looks like a guy's junk from certain angles. Now, a human being looks at that. You have context and you instantly recognize this is a hand and this is also a hand with a clenched fist. So they're both the same thing. You, you know how a human body works. You know humans don't have genitals at the end of their arm. The AI just looks at it and it's like, okay, I guess that's a hand. And this, this hand here is no, that's not a hand. No chance that's a hand. That's, uh, that gnomes have, uh, genitals on, on their, on their fingers, obviously. And, uh, on the, on the ends of their arms. So the, oh, for Christ's sake. All right, I'm back. I'm more editing work for me. People can't stop texting me while I'm trying to make a damn video. Okay. <laughs> so where was I? Yeah. So this is, this is, I finally realized the AI is looking at this, this, this stocky little uh, gnome hand curled up, balled up in a fist with the, the thumb out um, on the actual, the actual picture the, on the thumbnail. It was, it was her hand in a fist with um, the pinky finger, or is it the ring finger? How do gnomes identify their third finger? Do they consider it their pinky or their ring finger? I don't know. We haven't, there's so much to explore about gnome culture that uh, they, they don't get enough love in the game. So anyways, this is what the AI has been doing. It's It's been doing stupid shit AI that, um, that it, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't understand context, right? It can't look at the, it's, it's only looking at little bits of the picture and, and looking for the naughty bits, right? And it's not putting those naughty bits into a context where, where it, um, makes sense, right? It's, it's not doing that. So, um, okay, that's fine. The, the AI needs, needs to be, uh, retrained, uh, you know, they're going to be stupid. But what I fear is happening because, um, this went back and forth quite a bit with this, this, you know, thumb, thumbnail getting deleted. I'd, um, I'd appeal, they'd reinstate it. The AI wouldn't know that, um, 
you know, there's no nudity. They do nothing to tell the AI, no, this image has no nudity in it. You need to rethink what you're doing. And so the AI immediately reflags the Im it scans it again and reflags the image as as wrong and then it and then um and then uh um whatchamadoodle uh uh youtube takes it takes it down and sends me a warning and then i appeal and they put it back up and now i've gotten to the point where it's 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 like happened so many times uh youtube is just ignoring it and 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 will not let me uh uh, upload. It, it won't keep that. That so I had to go back and I had to edit the the thumbnail to get rid of the one hand. And I did it really clumsily because I don't really care that much. But um, this is going to be the problem um, with with AI is the one they're stupid. Uh, they 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 can't get context. And two, humans are lazy and they won't correct. A bad AI. They won't. YouTube, um, the people who do these appeals, they're probably working in a data center in India or something like that. They're they're they're, they're not people who have uh, any sort of uh, investment in in uh, uh, making sure my channel runs smoothly. No investment in. Uh, uh, making sure even YouTube runs smoothly. They're just trying to pump through as many of these appeals as they can because they get paid on probably piecemeal. Um, so they don't, this guy sitting in a data center in India, he doesn't care about fixing the AI. The AI. He doesn't care about correcting its mistakes. He He, he just cares about I keep getting flagged for this same video over and over again, and there's nothing wrong with it. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to let the let the ban stand, and I'm not going to do anything to uh, let this AI know it's made a mistake and it needs to rethink uh, what it's done, and 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 I'm not going to help it identify where it made the mistake. I'm just going to let, and, and I think we're going to see this just happening more and more where it's the people being paid to, um, check the AI and correct it to make sure it's not screwing, uh, screwing up, um, are just not going to get involved because they're not, they're, you know, if you're, if you're a guy who's, who's, job is just to process as many appeals as you can and you don't really care about the content or the channel or or anything you just want to get your your job done as quickly as possible you're not going to correct this ai you're not going to tell the ai you made a mistake you need to go back and think that you might not even have the authority to to to, to flag it and so you're just going to i have a feeling we're just going to start seeing um uh youtube's ai and it's probably already been happening to other people too. It's it's just going to become stupider and stupider as as mistakes like this, where it can't tell the context, it can't tell what as a human being could tell this is this is a hand instantly, and and uh, this is a hand, and hands are at the end of arms. These are arms. This is a torso. This is a pelvis. These are legs. This is her head. This AI is just looking, that's junk. That's some guy's uh, shriveled up drunk junk right there. That's what that is. So we got to get rid of that naughtiness. And no human being ever lets this AI know, no, that's not junk. That's clearly a gnome's balled up little fist and her thumb sticking out there. So anyways, yeah, uh, if you go look at the uh, the video, You Woke Me Up uh, with Bukamhura, um, you will notice that uh, I've crudely edited out one of the hands on on the thumbnail because I, I'm convinced that was what um, uh, was tripping up the AI. So YouTube, um, you need to do something about this because these sort of errors will just cascade over time. And the humans you have checking it are probably overworked and underpaid, and they just don't care. They don't care, right? I've got 
20,000 appeals a day that, that my AI is throwing my way saying, oh, this is, this is violates this, this violates that. I got to get through these 20,000 of these a day and I'm being paid nothing. So yeah, okay, fine, whatever. Appeal denied, appeal denied, appeal denied, appeal denied. And, and you never go back and fix your AI and it'll never, it'll never learn that that's a hand and that's also a hand. So do something about this because it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. And this is where AI is going to go bad. It's not going to be because the AI is bad. It's going to be because human beings are too lazy. We create these AIs because, you know, we don't want to do this, this menial drudgery ourselves, but then we're too fucking lazy to even go through and, and train these AIs properly, right? We, we leave it up to people in data centers making minimum wage, processing appeals to, to correct this AI, and they're not going to do that. They, they've, got, they've got too many things on their plate to do that. So YouTube, fix your damn AI. You clearly have not shown your AI enough dick pics if your AI looks at a, a, a gnome's fist and thinks that's a dick. <laughs> yeah. Fix this crap, man. This is annoying and, and, and a little scary that, that you would, would let your AI get that bad and sloppy. This is just sloppy, sloppy work. Anyways, that's all I have to say on the topic of this. Um, if you're still here watching this video, uh, which I doubt you are because probably only 15 people saw it and I've already posted on my Facebook about, uh, about what a, what a joke this, uh, uh, dealing with uh, YouTube's AI algorithms is. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, let me give you, if you're still listening, and uh, let me give you a little channel information. Um, if you're new to this and you're still listening, which I'll be very surprised if you are, uh, my name's Gastly. Um, um, I used to be uh, an internet celebrity. I did a web comic. Uh, published once a week, and uh, I'd have several hundred thousand people a week reading my comic. I'd get invited to conventions. Um, uh, it, that was that was pretty sweet because I tell you, man, if you think con if you think uh, conventions are fun, you don't know a convention until you know the green room at a convention. That is so much fun. That is so much fun. Um, and now I'm a has been. I mean, the internet has been. Um, I just, I have a, a small local career as a performing artist now, and I'm happy with that. Um, I don't like the hustle. I'm not trying to build my audience. I'm just trying to entertain the, the 15 or so little weirdos, uh, that remember me from my webcomic days. And, and, uh, I've been doing that with this, this character called Pukamhura. Um, uh, on the Moonguard roleplay server, I basically just uh, roleplay her uh, as a NPC. She's an NPC talking to other NPCs in awkward conversations. And I've started giving my channel a bit more love. I'm organizing things a bit more. Um, I'm I'm going to do more of these Pukumhura things just because it's it's fun. It it lets me um, lets me uh, exercise my improv chops. Um, which I'm going to need for a project that I have coming up where I'm going to be working with a very talented comedian friend of mine, uh, Larry Smith, on the pilot of it. So um, until I, I can get that going, um, I, I've just been doing this. And I'm, I'm, I'm putting a little more love into my channel. I'm, I'm, I'm putting organizing my videos into playlists. It's been since 2006 I've been running this channel, um, not giving it any love. Um, uh, uh, not really caring about it. Now I'm putting a little more care in it. I'm not going to chase the hustle or stuff like that. That's a young man's game. I'm, I'm kind of retired. I'm retired and just doing what I want to do. Um, so yeah, if you're on the moon guard server and you see Pukamhura, oh, please walk up, say hi. Yeah, no, say hi in character, say hi out of character. I, I, I don't care. 
maybe we'll we'll go on a little adventure together because uh, she's stuck at level 20. She's a trial tune, so she's basically an NPC. So there's lots of places in the game she can't get to, so maybe you can help her get there. And there's lots of places in the game where it's danger she can get to, but it's dangerous to be. So maybe you can protect her while she's she's there shooting B roll. <laughs> so, anyways, that's my little thing on how this YouTube's AI algorithm has just been screwing me over <laughs> so much over one video uh, thumbnail that has like zero nudity in it. <laughs> like there are other thumbnails I have that have more nudity than it. Anyways, that's my little bit. That's what I got to say. If you have any ideas on, on what can be done to improve this, this thing, other than uh, I'll have to keep a mind to, to go through every, every thumbnail from now on looking at Pukamura's hands to make sure there's there's nothing uh, vaguely penisy about the the way her her hands are put together. <laughs> Anyways, I've been having fun, guys. Uh, no, this video is going on way too long. Uh, so I'll 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 see ya. I'll see you in the World of Warcraft maybe um, on my trial tune. Um, uh, I'm not I'm not going to be uh, resubscribing to WoW until they they the uh, Blizzard gets its shit together. There's some a lot of people that need to be fired, and there's a lot of compensation that needs to be paid out to the employees that were abused. So I'm not I'm not subscribing. I'm having and I'm honestly I've been having more fun playing uh, with this level 20 tune as an NPC, as a fellow NPC in a world of NPCs, watching the player characters go off, having their glory, while I'm a, I'm a nobody, uh, an anonymous nobody. It's been it's been a great fun experience, um, and as it's it's thrown me into the role playing side of the game, and role playing is really just acting. It's it's what I do professionally, but you do it for fun, kind of, kind of thing. You know, it's it's creating a character, and some people are are better at it and, uh, than than others. But you know, you don't have unlike acting where there's an audition process, the director brings you in. Um, I don't, I don't actually do a lot of, because I work sort of, I stick local. Um, I, I, most of the directors and producers and stuff like that locally know who I am. They know what I'm capable of. They'll have a part where, um, they, 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 they like, oh, this part would be perfect for Gasly. Um, so they'll call, they'll call me up and they'll, they'll say, would you, would you come in? Sometimes I'll come into audition for a, a client who doesn't, who isn't as familiar just so they can demonstrate this is who we want and this is why we want. Um, um, but yeah, I'm mostly retired and local and stuff like this, but, uh, improvisation, uh, is, is, is a form of acting too. And role playing is just improvised acting. You're improvised acting in character. And, um, I would honestly recommend this NPC experience for everybody actor out there is create a character um and know that character know what that character is like you don't have to make it like pukamura she's she's a very awkward she's awkward and unfiltered and um curious she's very very curious she just wants to know so she asks people inappropriate questions because she uh doesn't have that filter to let her know what is appropriate and what isn't she's she's almost uh like a me to a very extreme <laughs> like like if you took my normal uh cluelessness and just amped it up just uh, a, a bit for comedic factor that that's kind of <laughs> so i'm not i'm not i'm not it's not that big a stretch for me doing pukamura but uh you know, you, you don't have to do it like that. You can create another character and, and you can do multiple characters like this. So you create this character, um, uh, get the character in your mind and then just, uh, film yourself. This is the important part. You, you have to record it and, and record yourself improvising a one-sided conversation with an NPC. 
and uh, in character as that, that character, that tune. And uh, you don't have to share it on YouTube if you don't want to. I would recommend doing it. It just sort of gives it a bit more intensity. You're, you're a little more aware of, of what you're doing when you're role-playing. And, and, and as performance, as, as getting into the head of a character and stuff like this, and this can help you as an actor um, uh, doing stuff like this. And, uh, yeah, I would, I would, I, I, I would, I would recommend this to all my friends who are actors. Just roll a, a level 20 trial tune and, and use it as, uh, uh, a, a, a tool to practice your improv school. Because if you're a theater actor, um, a lot of theater actors will improv, uh, do improv. Cause sometimes you'll forget a line. And your character has to say something and you know where the conversation is supposed to go for your character. Um, and, and if you understand who your character is uh, and their motivations and, and what their thinking is like, uh, what their feelings are uh, on the, on, on the subject, you can improvise a line, um, to get to get the, the, the actor who's waiting to respond to you to their line, right? If you know where the conversation is supposed to go, you can, you can come up with some, cause sometimes you do, right? Especially, uh, older actors such as myself, where, you know, my memory is not what it was, uh, when, when I was, uh, 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 you know, a, a younger man. So yeah, older, working with older actors, uh, it's, it starts happening. You, you, you forget lines. And when you're doing live theater, you can't just stand there going, ah, I guess I'm supposed to say something. You have to keep, you can't break the, um, uh, the immersion by, you, you know, I mean, there, there have been times where actors on stage have had to go call line right that, that especially older actors and and a lot of older actors will have funny stories uh i've i've you know uh, green rooms are the best green rooms at conventions at at music shows uh acting stuff like that green rooms are always so much fun just in, in interacting with these other people um and uh so they'll tell you the stories about times they've uh totally blanked on, on stage and, and the funny things that have happened and stuff like this. And you're, when you're on stage, your, your goal is to entertain the audience, right? So um, improv skills, even if you're not an improv actor, if you are a theatrical actor, you should, um, in my opinion, you should work on your improv skills. Because sometimes you will improv something during a rehearsal and the director will go, oh my God, yes, keep that, keep that, yeah. Right. And, and then sometimes you improv something and it falls flat and stuff like that. Um, and then usually towards the end of rehearsals before the play is being mounted and you kind of worked everything over and you're just sort of going through the motions rehearsals just to keep everything fresh in your mind. Then you'll sometimes get a little sillier too, uh, during those rehearsals and you'll improvise a line just to, to crack up the cast and crew because, you know, uh, it's, it's a balance. You have to understand the balance between respecting people's time as, as professionals and having fun as a human being. Because, uh, honestly, at, at this stage of my life, um, if something's not fun, I don't have to do it. I don't have anything to prove to anyone and I don't need, need the work. I do the work because, uh, I love interacting with with these people that i i work with there i i work um like i say i stay local and so the people i work with are the same people i've worked with many times often and you develop friendships um th that's one of the really great things about live theater working in live theater is the friendships that that you make in 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 that career um and they'll last a lifetime um I have friends that, you know, from when I started and I, 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 I get excited when I hear I'm working on a project and I hear, hear one of my friends uh, is, is also going to be working on that project. I get very excited for that project because even if yeah, I know, even if the script is kind of crap <laughs> that um, just working with those people again is going to make this project so much fun. So anyways, that was my bit on, on AI.
on on the problem with with YouTube's AI and something they need to fix. They need to look at. They need to show it more pictures of penis penises so that it can recognize the difference between a penis and a gnome's hand. Um, YouTube, if you need me to send you pictures of my penis uh, so that you can compare it to a gnome's hand, I'll I'll you know get in touch with me. Get in touch with me. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Uh, anyways, yeah, so that's that's my silly video uh, for today on on why it is that uh, Google's AI uh, is is going to uh, get worse and worse if they don't actually uh, start addressing this appeal process uh, in a way where actual humans uh, care about improving the AI and not just getting through their stack of, of uh, 20, 50 appeals that they have to get through today. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's all I have to say. Ah, I'm flying Pukamura. Woo!